Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Bidia Trude, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Well, last time, I massively underestimated the power of Ilva. I thought her life was pretty much over, right? I was halfway to doing her a flipping eulogy while we just did a farewell tour of England. Little did I realise her best days were still ahead of her as she fought the most ridiculously incredible battle in the history of Scandinavia, taking out the combined Danish army twice the size of her own easily. She annihilated them. Absolutely flipping ridiculous. She looked Tyson and said, yep, I'm going to be having that, and that she flipping had. She's just, she's unstoppable. And uh, I realise, let's talk all about the things that John got wrong, yeah, she's actually got uh, another trick up her sleeve uh, that I sort of completely missed last time. Which is all of these ridiculous wars she's been getting involved with, uh, that's been generating huge amounts of prestige, especially the ones uh, where she's been stepping in to help out the King of Sweden, meaning she's jumped straight up to uh, Exalted Among Men, and that means uh, she's allowed to do uh, her one kingdom war. You're allowed to do this once in your entire lifetime, but you can just go after an entire flipping kingdom. And you know the really fun thing about that? It doesn't actually need to be a kingdom that currently exists. As long as there is, you know, a de jure kingdom for you to target, it's fine. Meaning, I could just go up to this kid who's got literally 75 troops in the world and say, hey, I'm going to be having everything that ought to belong to Norway. I can just have it in one go, right now. Hilariously, at the same time, yes, my neighbour actually, uh, he wants to take a single county. So, uh, yeah, good job there, excellent, uh, excellent job, absolutely. We won't be able to get this, by the way. This giant over here has just decided he wants to be independent. There's so many giants around, it's marvellous. So, yeah, I can just, uh, sort of, uh, have Norway. Right now, my final gift to the world. Surely, this has got to be Ilva's final greatest act here. Though, you may also notice the UI looks a bit different. Yes, this is the first episode that was recorded under 1.1, which does rather fortunately seem to be, you know, compatible with his save file. Though, I can't deny, I'm a bit surprised to see that, uh, yes, my army's gone down from elite to two stars up in the top right there, so hopefully that'll update tomorrow or something, or they've just significantly changed how, you know, quality is calculated. Right, Ilva, we need to keep you alive, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like you've got, you know, enough military perks right now, so uh, we're moving you over to learning and medicine. That's just gonna help you stay alive, and on top of that, yes, yeah, stress is getting, uh, stress is getting out of hand. So uh, we're also gonna be needing to... Uh, Yes, a hunt. You're very good with the hunt because you're brave. So that is a giant pile of stress off immediately. And let's talk about one more thing that John didn't really get wrong, but yes, would make a lot more sense. So, okay, let's talk about the succession, which could ideally do with being, you know, rationalised a bit. Because right now it's going all over the shop. Like, you know, half of Iceland's going to one kid, half's going to another. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but... I have realised, I mentioned this last time, I've been looking it up, I think I've got this right now. So, if I create the duchy, or rather I steal the uh, duchy of Iceland, given I now, you know, control Iceland, uh, that means uh, the duchy of Iceland will go to my second son, Tord. As, logically, will everything de jure under it. Now, that means, of course, he won't be working for Owland anymore. He'll still be working for Sweden, but he won't be working for me directly. But in some ways, that's not a problem, because that just means more renown coming in anyway. So that's kind of fine. But as a result of him getting these two bits of land over here, that should lead to all four bits of land actually on the Swedish mainland uh, to Orvar. So I actually get four bits of land uh, going forward, which is going to be very, very useful indeed. And speaking of which, yes, we do have a slight problem with uh, domain holdings. So those penalties have kicked in, but I do have a solution to that. And um, the solution is, uh, bye, Thomas. Sorry about this. But to be perfectly honest, uh, yeah, I'm just swapping husbands to whatever I need at the time. Because right now, what I really need more than anything is someone who's a really damn good administrator. 
Tell you what, this top guy's all right. He's Lithuanian, wrong religion, etc., etc. Kind of don't care. I've got plenty of flipping prestige. That's not a problem. So you, you'll be coming along and marrying me right now. Now, if we move him over to, yes, a sister ruler, what does that do to this? Still six out of four. Okay, what if I move you straight over to manage domain? And, uh, okay, that's now six out of six. So I needed a date update anyway. So, uh, okay, I've also killed a ridiculous beast of some description. Well, that's lovely. So, uh, hunting trophy, that's even more prestige. Or give it to my daughter. That's lovely, right there. Or, ooh, I could just wear it as a skull crown. I mean, I can't say no to a skull crown. I'm not made of stone. Okay, so if I move him over to general assistance, then we go over to, uh, yes, yeah, six out of five. So, okay, I'm going to keep him on manage domain. So I'm allowed to keep all of this territory without it being a problem. So uh, that's now absolutely fine. That goes away up there. That's brilliant. And apparently the Duchy of Iceland has just sort of uh, ceased to exist. Unfortunately, just sort of uh, slid out of existence. So, okay, we're going to need to create it afresh. And for that, we're going to be needing more money, which is going to leave us a little bit on the, uh, the shy of everything side. Okay, we need money in a flipping hurry. Denmark, you absolute dicks who attacked me last time. Technically, your truce is with my king, not with me. So, okay, we can help ourselves to some lovely, lovely money right over here. Right, gather up all the troops. Everything is lovely and, oh dear. Right, yes, our biggest change in 1.1. Now, if you actually, you know, say you're not going to be bothered to show up to wars when you're invited... Yeah, that costs you uh, more prestige than it used to. Offensive wars are not so much of a problem, but defensive wars, are, yeah, that stings. Now, fortunately, this is an offensive war, so it's only going to cost me 150 to say no. But uh, yeah, had he been attacked, that would have been a much bigger problem. Sorry, got my own problems to deal with. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of armies floating around all of a sudden that look, you know... Uh, a lot weaker than I would have expected. So yes, I think the calculation might have just changed a bit. Some things, however, don't change, like how ridiculously fast Ilva can just take care of all of this nonsense. And by the way, who's attacking my king? Look, I'll be there in a second. By the way, I'm going to be needing uh, money. Need money in a hurry, actually. So please hand over. That's fine. Who is attacking Sweden now? And uh, oh, flip me. That's a holy war for Gotland. Well, flip me. And weirdly enough, it's, uh, it's just some random guy from inside the Holy Roman Empire, which is, uh, fine, but who's he bringing along? So, okay, uh, Provence, they can certainly bring uh, some troops. Together with Bern, they can bring a little bit. I may choose to get involved in that, we'll see. Oh, it is fascinating. Denmark actually wants to flipping, uh, have a go, apparently. Well... I would have thought they learnt the lesson last time, to be honest, but no. I am very happy to. Yep, there was definitely a bit of head tearing going on there. That was, uh, that was most definitely a slaughter. Oh, and la -dee da there's been a cadet branch created. I don't want to do that myself, because yes, my son is already the head of the, uh, the main branch of this dynasty. But, uh, there is now a branch off. Well, flip me. Yep, Elizabeth of Aulan now thinks she's going to belong to her own tiny dynasty, and I assume she's taken her family with her. Yep, there we go. So, Olaf's child Stenar, who tragically died in battle, which did rather eventually cause the, uh, the death of Adelvard indirectly. Yes, his eldest appears to have uh, decided she's just going to go and do her own thing. Now, she's still part of the same dynasty, but yeah, that just means she gets uh, some more rights, given she's head of her own separate house. Right, bring the troops home, drop off the money. Obviously, she is the new dynasty head of the new dynasty. Absolutely, wait, hang on. The new dynasty head of the entire Grand Dynasty? Is she? Well, it's saying it's still Orvar, so okay. Just leave that a minute, it'll probably settle down soon. Right, so we need to uh, break you guys down. And yeah, as it turns out, I have got plenty of money, but my troops aren't as good as they once were. The calculation appears to have changed in the most recent patch. So, uh, okay, this is all absolutely fine. I've got a plan. Step one, create the Duchy of Iceland. So now, Auland goes to Orvar. Meanwhile, Iceland goes to Tord, which means as a result of that... 
Tord is now going to get, yes indeed, the De Jure counties under Iceland, which is fine. But that means Orvar now gets four territories. So he now gets all of this. So I get to keep more than I would have done previously. Now as for the rest of the money, yeah, I think we need to actually start uh, investing in our troops a bit. Because uh, now it feels a little bit like uh, we're falling behind. Begin the embiggening of our men-at-arms units. I want more archers, I want more pikemen, and I want a few more horses too. Though to be honest, the horses are really expensive. In fact, you know what, okay, I'm going to get rid of these onagers because I'd rather have, yes, the much better, but like barely any more expensive. Yeah, they're twice as good. So, okay, we're just going to have uh, some of these lads instead. And I'm having some more bowmen too. Seriously, I want my quality to be a little bit higher right now. I'm a bit concerned about how quality seems to have uh, dropped under the current calculations. So uh, we're going to let all of that just uh, heal up a bit. All right. So uh, we're going to get all of these guys and... Uh, oh dear. Torbrand, my very briefly husband. And he's been a very good doctor. In fact, actually, yeah, we don't have a doctor anymore, do we? Yeah, he was the doctor. Right. Do we have anyone who could like, you know... Be a doctor, just already. Well, my new priest is actually, you know, pretty smart, given that's the whole point of them, so... Go on. 14 learning, you could be court physician too. Now, as the number of troops ticks up here, you need to keep a close eye on whether that, you know, improves the quality. And... Uh, okay, you kicked that guy's ass nice and fast, presumably, before reinforcements showed up. Well done. Although another war's straight on the flipping cards. Okay, Holy Roman Empire's getting a bit, uh... Fighty these days. Oh, you want this county, do you? Well, you're not flipping having it. Luckily, she doesn't seem to have a chance against anybody, so it's fine. Though, I'm starting to wonder whether there might be a bit of a bug with, you know, the display of troops. Because, uh, have I actually seen anything other than, uh, two? That's two. That's also two. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of two going around. I swear I saw a tiny army that was marked as elite, but... Okay, I think they might all just be marked as two. This might just be an unfortunate consequence of the game moving into version 1.1. Oh, I'm a chancellor died at some point. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, okay, so... We don't have a great selection here. We do have... Uh, okay, the new... Wait. Who are you and how long have you had whatever position you've got? Ah, you're Olaf's son. Okay, well, uh, I'll tell you what. You can have the position of spy master. That is a okay. And we've got a very good mayor who could make yeah, an extremely good chancellor right here. So go on, why not? That's that's a pretty solid council. Still no great options for steward, but what can you do, eh? All right, the Dutch has shown up. Seems to have hired a handful of mercenaries, and yeah, we can't trust the actual symbols anymore. So that's fine. I can estimate this and read it anyway. So. Uh, yeah, she's got some knights, but not many. She's got herself some, yeah, basic skirmishes weak against my archers. She is recently disembarked. She's well supplied. Uh, knights not so good, plenty of levies. I feel like we might just want to go in and destroy her. Just to, you know, make sure she's uh, not in the way. My troops are almost up to strength anyway, so... Uh, go on, we'll take care of this nonsense. Don't worry, your majesty, we got it. After all, offering to join a war is basically just, you know, free prestige and a ludicrous amount of it too. And oh, hang on a flipping minute. Okay, it's not just two stars. It might not be a bug because I'm now seeing three stars. So it might be about to fall to two when the troops have finished, you know, yeah, then it falls to two. Okay, that's, that's all I okay. Get the troops together and it takes so long to gather. I'm guessing to actually tell you. I'm guessing gathering is a function of, you know, how geographically wide your empire is. So, uh, keep your eye on that, potentially. We've already got 4,000 in play. And uh, do we have the crucial troops here? Yeah, we got the archers. Screw it. Move in. Take her out. The new siege screen's very dramatic, by the way. Look at it. It's actually whooshing all the time. Handful more troops gathering. Right. Move them in. Move them in. Move them in. Everyone should now be in play. And... Uh, yeah, you know what? I think you've left a bit late to move off. Because Ilva the Brave, she moves like flipping lightning. And now you, you are going to be destroyed. Absolutely torn to shreds. And Count Tost has actually wounded one of theirs. Well done over there. And we have unlocked a desirable match. Okay, what, what does that mean? 
Oh, it means whoever the actual current leader of the dynasty is, uh, they've unlocked a dynasty perk. And we've captured this guy who's got himself a very, very good title. Okay, so you're a treacherous villain, apparently. Right, well, let's see what we do with treacherous villains. Well, when nobody wants to pay for them, we put them to death, as it turns out. Marvellous. Right, massive bit of battering there. I'm going to leave the rest to Sweden. They should be able to handle this by themselves. Aha, and while I was doing that, Sweden's actually naffed off over here to take her own territory off her. So, okay, she's pretty screwed. Got it. And apparently I can just actually have an alliance with, uh, yeah, Ragenheld, my half-sister, who... Okay, admittedly, we got off on the wrong foot when I deliberately left her in prison to die. But, like, you know, we can be friends now, it's fine. So, uh, go on. She's got a thousand troops, that's a-okay. And uh, I can also ask for a pardon from my king, because otherwise he might just, you know, toss me in prison at some point again. Okay, I think we've waited long enough, we've done enough for our liege, everything should be ready, and the army is uh, plenty big enough. So, uh, my friend, we're coming in, and we're having uh, literally flipping everything. Though, hang on, what does, what does Tost want? Okay, he can't have that. No, we're just having the lot. We'll give Tost what he wants later, like, if need be. So, uh, yep, we can only do this once in a lifetime. He's got literally 143 troops. This is going to cost me 900 prestige. Flipping chicken feed. I'm making progress towards a living legend over here. Yeah, we are going the flip in. You, my friend, you're coming along too. You're a bit busy, so you might actually not bother showing up, but... Uh, if you feel like it, do come along. Right, raise the troops. It's going to take us a month to get them together. Then we can just start destroying them. Good. May or may not bother showing up. That's absolutely fine. I have been forgiven for my crimes. I've got a new alliance. By the way, would you like to come along? I've literally got a war on right now. Can't call. Ah, she's a vassal. So, okay, she was the worst ally. I shouldn't have even bothered doing that. But whatever, I suppose. Okay. Pulling everybody together, everything is lovely, and of course, Ilva is leading this one herself, alright? Hopefully, we live long enough to see it done. And we're in a good position to march straight on the capital, because uh, that's literally all he's got. He's got all these duchies, but only uh, one actual county. So we're going to move and take out his only county immediately, which means he's not going to have an army. I mean, he barely has one already, but like, you know, seriously this time, literally no army. So uh, 5,000 troops move in absolutely beautiful. The Grand Army of Ilva the Brave. And there we go. It is, wow, it is just whooshing forward. Okay, the whoosh effect is very appropriate when, you know, you're Ilva, because seriously, it does kind of go whoosh when you're Ilva. So another eight days, uh, there is a little bit of desertion going on. Nice bit of progress there. A few stalemates, but yeah, I do actually have uh, now more archers and better troops doing the, uh, yeah, the tossing of boulders, or whatever. So, uh, I mean, if we could just capture him right now, that'd be spectacular. That'd be great. And has she just come back again? Okay, could somebody else go and deal with that, please? And, uh, oh dear. Uh, right, I seem to be getting a bit on the, uh, the weak side, actually. And I can't help but notice you're not actually a doctor. You're just like, you know moderately clever. I mean, she's a herbalist. It's better than nothing, I suppose. This is a severe penalty. I'm 68, and I'm literally out on campaign right now. And I'm a giant, don't forget, which already comes with a slight penalty. So, uh, I feel like we need to roll the dice on this one. So, uh, come on. Use your herbalist skills. Uh, I believe in you, and... Okay. Balanced tumours. So, unpleasant, but seems to have been effective. I am not cured. I feel much better. Okay, so I've got a massive boost for a year. Excellent. So, okay, there was just a bit of, uh, you know, putting something bad against my skin and blood, but it seems to have done the job for now. And who have we just captured, by the way? You are... some random nobody who we wouldn't even pay to have back. Dear oh flipping dear. Still, we've already managed to actually get him up to uh, 26% just with a single siege occupation. So, uh, 
I'll take that very gladly. Let's just keep on keeping on round the corner and just, yeah, work around the coast taking all of this. It's all pretty close together here. And looks to me like, yes, Sweden's going to come back and deal with this for me. So I don't need to bother going and dealing with that. I can stay here and stay focused on, you know, the entire flipping conquest of Norway and tax assessors. Okay, so money, 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 money. I do enjoy money. Right, coming in over here. Siege underway. Going to take me two odd months. I have got, yeah, I'm losing money right now because I just built a whole bunch of troops. But I'm sure it's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Everything's under control. And yep, there goes the attack over there. You are just dominating with, yeah, ridiculous victory there. Fair bit of uh, head tearing off too. Good, good, good. Jens has just lost a war, meaning... Holy Roman Empire is getting a bit scary. Seriously. Oh, okay, it's happened. We've got ourselves a new Holy Roman Emperor. And, uh, okay, admittedly, he's still got quite a few troops. And he's bloody realigned with the Byzantines. Okay, that, that is not good. And no one's in a great place to stop him, to be perfectly honest. Hungary's not doing well right now. The young king of France has only got like 5,000 men, Poland 6,000, England 5,000. Uh, I mean, an alliance of two great European powers uh, would be enough to kick this guy's ass. But unfortunately, yeah, I'm not sure anyone's really lining up to do it. And uh, oh, new emperor as well, 17 year old kid, blimey. Yeah, I was kind of hoping given he only had two counties, he wasn't going to have that much. But unfortunately, uh, yes, he does. Okay, I mean, maybe there'll be internal problems. Who knows? Just stay focused on my own sieges uh, for now and... Uh-oh, which... No, that's not him. That's a different prince of the same name, though. He is his brother. So, okay, some guys are coming in, but he's got big friends. And seriously, the Holy Roman Empire is getting uh, worryingly fighty right now. I mean, his friends aren't anything too special aside from this one. This one's a little bit concerning with 3,000 troops. So, okay, problems. Yet yeah, these annoying little tiny vassals. They're calling in allies and causing trouble. Oh, flip me. He wants the entire Duchy of Scone. Okay, well, I will come and help, but I am busy at the moment. There we go. Got nine gold for taking that. Move straight on to the next. We're up to... Okay, we're already in a very good plus 42%. We're making good progress here. He's got no troops and... Okay, we won the... Okay, that wasn't Norway. Didn't get Norway. She surrendered. I presumably got myself... Well, I got some good stuff anyway. And also Catholicism is seriously losing out right now because, you know, it keeps doing holy wars that keep losing. Okay, two months here. Starvation events are kicking off very, very nicely indeed. And uh, low control. I am aware of low control. It's an ongoing problem. We're trying to sort it out. Though admittedly, we're also trying to eat Norway at the same time. Now, they're sending... They're sending a handful of troops north and... Okay, my liege just won that war. I'm guessing what happened is uh, he went in and he took over that county... And therefore had taken literally all the territory of the Count before his allies could mobilise. So, okay, that all works for me. Because seriously, this has got to be knackering Catholicism. Catholicism is at 1% right now. 1 flipping percent. It keeps losing holy wars against me. That has got to be bad for Catholicism. Especially as there are other Christianities floating around that are... They're starting to spread. This is... This is interesting. Including... Inside the Holy Roman Empire. Well, this is... Okay. This could be interesting. We need to keep an eye on this. Catholicism is looking very flimsy at the minute. No wonder people are jumping ship up here. In fact, actually, that's going to make it relatively easy to convert people going forward. Our fervor is like 100%. Catholicism at 1. Okay, another siege is about to be wrapped up here. Just hold on, Ilva. Please not die of whatever it is that's currently making you ill. We're just going to rock on around the country. Take county after county. 58% and rising. But yeah, nice thing about going around the coast here. There's just, yeah, capital, capital, more capitals. So we can just basically mop up huge amounts of land so fast. And I've recovered from the illness. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. Hopefully not dying. 
Not yet anyway. Hold on, Ilva. One last glorious victory. Finally, the evil of Norway will be defeated. Also, can't help but notice that I think Lithuania might have just... Okay, Lithuania just ate a bit of totally Sweden. Which is... I didn't realise that was going to be a thing, but okay. Perks for me. So, yeah. Anatomical studies. Let's get that doctor providing good results for me. Just... Just hold on. Stay alive, Ilva. Stay alive. Oh, flip me. He's ready to surrender. It's only 91%, but he knows there's nothing he can do. Well. Well, 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 well. I become independent. Didn't actually want to be independent. I kind of want to be like, you know, part of, part of Sweden. I'm kind of, it's important to me I'm part of Sweden, but I mean... I'm not going to turn down all this territory. Right, sorry, I accidentally declared independence. I didn't even really mean to. I mean, I'm not gaining the Kingdom of Norway, right? Because it doesn't... It doesn't exist. So... I mean... Okay. I get a whole bunch of counties, right? And also, this guy becomes my... This guy becomes my vassal. Which is going to be tricky. Uh, okay, so he's gonna start working for me, but I'm about to take, like, presumably the stuff I'm occupying off him, right? I mean, he's the right religion, and, oh, his children are dying. A lot of them are dying. Okay, how's the, how's succession for you looking right now? Well, there's gonna be some division. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. And with that... Ilva the Brave defeated the evil of Norway once and for all. Oh, there he goes. And oh, bloody hell. Wait, I thought I was about to declare independence. Am I not declaring independence? I thought I was declaring independence. But like, no, instead I've just created mega Sweden. I have too many counties. Yes, I noticed. But like... Apparently, I've not declared independence. Like, I really thought I was declaring independence there. The game said, you're declaring independence. Then it just sort of changed its mind. Right, okay. Um, break down Owland. So, yeah, this guy gets to keep the stuff he's already got, which is fine, though. Apparently, he's a known criminal. Well, that's, that's just very convenient. Also, I've got a new- wait, why have I- why aren't you my- where did you go? You're not dead, are you? No, you're not dead. Okay, for some reason, she's just like naffed off elsewhere and isn't my court physician anymore. That's- okay, strange things happening and- why are you my bloody- what? You've got four! A skill of- right, well this is- this is all fascinating right here. Also, Ragnhild is literally getting worse. At her job, as time goes by. This is, this is not acceptable, Ragnhilds. Right, give the job to somebody else. Somebody who, like, doesn't completely suck. Uh, okay, this is, everything's weird. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have just created Mega Sweden. And I feel like we need to give most of this away. Purely because, well, one, I physically can't maintain it. So, yeah, okay. This is, this is all fascinating. Okay, uh, get the army to stand down. Congratulations, Ilva. Admittedly, you might have just created, like, um, certain problems for us going forward. Then again, so far, they're not causing any penalties at all. So I can just sort of, uh, have them for a while. Then again, they're not going to yield, like, anything. They're Norwegian. They're Catholic. They're relatively well developed, which is nice. Well, some of them are anyway. But, uh... Yeah, I think we should probably give these away to someone who can, like, you know, manage them and convert them into something useful. I will say, though, the division of the duchy titles has worked out really nicely because Tord is literally, even now, only getting that duchy and De Jure what should be under it. So uh, everything else is going to Orvar if we could, like, hold on long enough to uh, give it to him. Then again, I could just give it to him now. I mean, that's allowed, because he's in line to inherit it anyway, so... I mean, that seems fair. Orvar, how would you like to be given, like, all of this stuff? That is apparently 100% completely 
legit. So he's going to become my vassal. That's fine. He really loves me for that. That's a okay too. So you just go over there and do your best to like, you know, Swedenify it. Because I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit Catholic and Norwegian right now. Bloody hell, Ilva. Bloody hell. We've just created ridiculous Mega Sweden. Now, I can't deny, there is certainly the thought starting to occur to me that, um, why am I not ruling ludicrous Mega Sweden? Oh, I can't plot against him because he's my friend because I've defended him too many times. Dear oh bloody dear. Ah, but here's interesting. So, yes, one of my new vassals, that guy who just, you know, took over all of Norway before I decided to take it straight back off. Well, not him, but the kid who used to be the leader of Lapland before Lapland exploded because... Okay, let's let's not even try and figure out what the bloody hell just happened. Anyway, the point is, you, my friend, are going to make a very, very good... Why are you not showing up as a... There you are, you're down there. Sorry, it's because these guys are important and you're not, despite having 15 bloody titles, because none of them produce anything. Oh, and important news down south as well. So this war I've just been ignoring because it doesn't really involve me. Sweden is backing Prussia in their attempt to put somebody on the throne. Though he's admittedly... He's slightly in prison right now, which is a bit on the embarrassing side. Is he in prison underneath the... Okay, the... The Lithuanians want to put a guy they themselves have in prison on the throne of Estonia, which is... Well, sure, why not? I mean, he's he's Swedish in culture. No, hang on, that's the that's the king of that's the king of Lithuania who's Swedish in culture. And hang the flip on here. You're supposed to be this religion. Here we go. Previous kings were wow. Okay, these guys have been on one hell of a trip. There's been orthodoxy at one point. Then they went back to their actual religion. Then they went over to ah. I see. So, yeah, a princess who ended up becoming queen fairly briefly, and she was, yeah, she was murdered for it. She was married to one of the children of Stenkil II. So, she converted while she was over there, meaning her children are themselves Swedish and Norse religion. So, okay, this really works for me. This is, yeah, plenty more flipping Thorism floating about. To be clear, I could just declare war on my liege for, you know, independence, but I don't feel like that's something Ilva would do. Ilva has worked so much to build up Sweden. Why would she abandon it now? No, 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 no. Ilva is just happy to see an expansive, secure, glorious Sweden, and more importantly, Norway not existing. Oh, here's fun by the way. Um, the Kingdom of Norway's back. Because he just, you just created it, didn't you? You absolute cocking idiot. That's now going to go to, no, they're both going to Alf. Why are they both going to Alf? Hang on, what are the rules? Yeah, Kingdom of Sweden goes Scandinavian elective. This meanwhile is line of succession. It doesn't even say, so I'm going to assume therefore it's Okay, so Prince Alf, and also Prince Alf, who I'm going to assume is your eldest son, right? Yep, there he is. So, okay, fortunately, the leader in the vote is also your eldest son, so uh, he gets both. Okay, so we're not about to immediately recreate a brand new, admittedly, much better Norway that's going to be, you know, way more Swedish and whatnot, but that might happen in a couple of generations. And here's cute... So actually, as tech has advanced, we've now got access to high crown authority. There we go, because royal prerogative exists. So as a result of that, I can actually get an extra 10% money in troops out of my vassals. They won't like it, but I think they'll be fine with it. So, okay, put that in play immediately, but we can't raise that again for another, wow, 20 years. We'll see how the vassals feel about that. I suspect they're going to be fine with it. And one thing we've just never really had time for in this, you know, amazing full life of just waging so much flipping war. We've never been on a pilgrimage, so uh, you know what, Ilva? I think you've deserved yourself a flipping holiday.
Then again, maybe we save up a bit of money first, just in case there's, you know, additional costs. Sometimes there are. Here we go. Troops are ready to go. Raise them down south and... Uh, you know what? Fair enough. Let's actually send in... No, he's not actually a reaver. Okay, you know what? Ilva's going to need to do this herself, or... We could leave it to Tost. I mean, Tost is a reaver. He is a reaver too. Uh, he needs to get a bit of experience. You know what? We're going to let Tost handle this one. Tost, I'm trusting you, all right? Right, that should be enough, guys. And yes, I think we'll be uh, helping ourselves to the Holy Imperial money. Why not? And uh, Liege won a war. Ooh, hang on, that was... That wasn't the war with Lithuania, that was... Ah, you were just stopping this guy attacking you, I remember that. So yeah, you didn't gain anything from that. And, okay, you're still doing it in six odd days. That's pretty good. That's a fine result. I'm not going to complain. And yes, the AI is going to be very stupid about not raising its troops locally. They're just going to raise them way back over in, you know, the Imperial capital. So we just get in, grab the money, get back out again. And by the time they get here, we're going to have already spent it. And bloody hell, who's attacking you now? Right, it's another bloody coalition of everybody. Seriously, everybody wants Gotland. It's weird. He's going to call in a prince who's got basically flipping nothing and... Another guy who's got nothing. Right, so that's another easy victory for Sweden. In fact, we should be raiding this place a lot. Because, uh, yeah, if we raid this place, it knackers control. Which is going to raise the possibility of peasant uprisings and whatnot. Also, apparently I consider the, you know, wife of my former ex sort of fake love to be incredibly boring. So, okay, I can yell at her a bit. Or I can challenge her to a dance and... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to ruin her party because I'm not very good at dancing. Or I just sort of yell at her, but everyone's impressed at me because I tell her what a terrible host she is. Or I just uh, slink away. Screw it. You're a terrible host. Screw you. I hate you. And more people are just flipping piling in. Oh, bloody hell. Right, yes, the Holy Roman Empire is just waging non-bloody stop holy wars against us just because they've got a good launching off point right here okay we need to deal with this this needs to be a priority we need to kick them out of bloody sweden because they just keep getting stupid ideas tragically though adelvard appears to have died of his wounds i'm guessing he was one of my knights so he must have been wounded during the recent wars that is uh, that is a shame okay uh who's inherited your titles by the way so uh, Right, this is Olaf, the son of Adelvard, who was the son of Olaf, who was the son of Adelvard, because bloody hell. I mean, he's not terrible, to be honest. He's not... He's not the worst thing I've ever seen. He could theoretically be... Well, he can't really be a knight. I mean, he could be a chancellor, I suppose. Uh, what position just opened up? Spymaster. Oh, we don't have a great replacement for that, actually. Uh, Tost. You're kind of the best of not a great selection, so... Okay, I've got a Berserker Spymaster, the epitome of subtlety. Right, looks to me like Sweden's already kicked the ass of these guys, and uh, Imperials are actually bothering to uh, show up on this occasion, well, 2,000 of them are. Okay, Sweden still outnumbers them, I've got this. Right, get the troops back home, uh, together with their giant piles of money, and then, look, just for once, you need to take care of this all by yourself. Ilva is going on flipping holiday. I mean, just look at the state of Denmark and the Holy Roman Empire, all right? It's a mess. We have done our flipping job, all right? Going on holiday, nobody can stop me. And I'm pretty sure Zealand is the furthest away one, so yeah, we're going for a lovely Dutch vacation. It's gonna be really nice, okay? We're just going for a Dutch vacation. Catharism is starting to spread. Insular Christianity is spreading as well, and... Uh, Lollard seems to be struggling a little bit, admittedly. And I'm going under the protection of the gods as the music gets a little bit on the epic side. Marvellous. And I'm guessing uh, my troops seem to have gone down a bit. I don't know why they're down. Possibly because I've naffed off and uh, convert faith. Beautiful. Well done. Right. Keep a close eye on this because it feels like, yes, the Imperials are not sending everything they've... Hello there. Right. I can't help but notice that I've got horribly lost on my pilgrimage. Okay, so I could pay somebody or I could get lost for five years. No, no, not a severe penalty. Just buy a new guide. This is why we went raiding. I can't help but notice the Imperials are suddenly looking um vulnerable. Like, 
so super vulnerable, actually. This could be... This could be the moment we've been waiting for. This entire flipping time. That's like over half their army. I have walked to the holy path. I am now a pilgrim. Also, ancestor worship means even more stuff. So everyone really likes me as a result of that. Giant pile of piety I totally didn't need. Right, we need to... um. We need to get back home. There might be an opportunity, Ilva. Like, one final ludicrous war. Like, I know I keep saying only one more war, but this time I mean it, probably. The problem we've got here is uh, the Byzantines could uh, come and get involved. And, okay, I'm home. We've made it home. Good, 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 good. Are you guys... Uh, you guys have got your own stuff going on. Wow, you've got a populist uprising. And you've got... Ooh! Okay, Persian Empire. Yes, you've got a Persian Empire war going on. That, that's magnificent. So, uh, surely, you're going to be spending your time focusing on that. Because the Persian Empire is a bit big and terrifying right now. Good, 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 good. So, no way in hell are you coming to deal with some nonsense Sweden issue. She's flipping 71 years old at this point. This is... This is so dumb. I was expecting her to die in her 50s because she's a giant, but... Okay, I think this is it. This has got to be our moment right here. If we assassinate this army, that's... Hang on. Just just check whose armies that actually is. That's... It's an army of the Holy Roman Empire. It's not actually their army. So, okay. Destroying them would not actually be that helpful. There are only 3,000 men. And uh, he's got enough money to hire, like, some mercenaries, but not much. And there is, yes, a... Major, major, ooh. Okay, there's a pretty big populist uprising of some description going on here. And it seems to involve other people, so... Screw it, we're going in. This is it. This is, okay, this is actually your real final glorious moment. It's time to kick the bloody Imperials out of Sweden. Or Owland, as it should rightly be called. Just, you know, by volume. Yeah, we're doing it. We're going to flip in. We are now attacking the Holy Roman Empire directly. I'm gonna need all hands on deck for this one. We need it to be done like, you know, fast. Summon up every man. Ilva's going in herself to make sure this one lands. Oh, this might be... This might be a mistake, by the way. And... Uh, okay. I have discovered Count Orvar's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Okay, so I get more flipping money, I won't say no. Marvellous, I do enjoy money. Right, a month to gather the troops together. Absolutely beautiful. The Empire's involved, but to be honest, he's not showing up, surely. And as is Queen... Okay, you're not bringing anything, that's fine. I doubt Croatia's coming too. And you've won that war immediately. These guys should be battered to hell, so we should just be able to walk straight in. I need another 10 days. Uh, you go over there and kick the ass of these guys. That's all absolutely fine. Troops nearly all standing and ready. Right, get over here. Start right there, because you literally just siege this place down. So we're just going to siege it, like, you know, again, because we can. Four months, really? That's... That's surprisingly slow, to be honest. But we'll see who bothers showing up versus who doesn't. I mean, I can see there. You definitely can see elite armies. Possibly it's not a bug. Maybe, you know what? An army with this many levies is always just going to be two stars. Because I've got too many levies in it. That might just be how it is now. It may have just been a bit rebalanced. Right, two months and escalating here. My marshal is doing a good job. The peasantry are absolutely bloody thrilled. In fact, you know what? They should be. I built them a massive ass temple. Just like a few months ago or something. And... Uh, 30 gold. I'll take 30 gold, mainly as... Um... Okay, can't help but notice that I've got... What do you mean, overextension? Oh! Um, overextension, because I've got more than 30 counties as a duke. Um... So I need to become a king to get rid of that penalty. Okay, uh, I'll take the money, but we might need to actually, like, transfer some vassalage. To sort this out. Because yes, I can see how Owland is getting a bit out of hand. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer vassalage of the guy, Eskin, over to my liege. He's going to be really happy about that. And that should get my overextension penalty out of the way. 
Hopefully. There we go. That's got rid of that. Good. Good, 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 good. Which means I'm not going to go bankrupt during this war. So better and better though. Oh, I just gave away my best marshal, didn't I? Right. Yes, I did. Actually, you know what? Thomas Bratt is very, very good. And uh, Count Tost is uh, currently busy being my spy master. So I guess it's going to be you. Right. First territory begins to go down over here. And yeah, that gets me to... Uh, 11, and we took a sun and air. That's not a bad starting point. Right, keep on keeping on. Problem is, we're going to take all of this and still only be at 50%. Then again, we've got this bit of, uh, yeah, Denmark. So, uh, I really hope the Byzantines aren't coming. Like, they seriously have their own problems to deal with. And there's new king of the guys up north I'm friends with. Fortunately, he's straight in the war. Though, on the other hand, he's sort of uh, in prison. So, potato, tomato. Right, territory number two goes down. We are capturing... Uh, we're capturing plenty of people here. The problem is they're not important because they're not important to, you know, uh, the emperor. They're important to the local counts and whatnot. So, uh, I mean, I guess that'll make for good murdering, but uh, I feel like Madrid's already pretty bloody high, all things considered. And here comes some... Yep, there are the reinforcements. They're going to help out just a little bit. Two months escalating fast, but we could do with... Uh, there we go. As the breaches start coming in, siege events start coming in faster. This is going just fine so far. I mean, to be honest, as long as they don't come together, between me and those guys up north, we can field more men than the Byzantine Empire, which is ridiculous, but there we are. And to be honest, if it came to a scrap, I would trust Ilva to be able to defeat, you know, both emperors, put the flip together. All right, there is nothing that Ilva cannot do. Oh, I see Imperials, but only like uh, 2,000 of them. Okay, where are they actually going? Because we might want to catch them as they come ashore. Okay, they're coming ashore over here. Right, divert south. We're going to head south and we're going to destroy them. They physically can't outrun me. And if we fight them in a forest, my archers are going to have a great big advantage. He's going to turn and run in a second, but it's going to be too late. Oh my. No, 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 no. I don't think you're getting away, my friend. I don't think you're getting away. So, all right, plus 35. I have got all the advantage in the world. I have got the bowmen. I have got everything. I have got 12 champions to your one. Sorry, did I just say one? Because his head just got ripped off. And we captured their commander, who is a count. Beautiful. This is going... This is going well so far, all right? We're just very badly damaging the armies of 300 men. Holy flip, the Holy Roman Empire's run out of men. Seriously, France, England, get in there. Open season on all of this land. This is actually madness. Ilva is going to defeat a coalition of the two emperors. Western and Eastern Rome together defeated. Well, not Western Rome because Rome's not technically there, but like, you know, a Western Rome and an Eastern Rome. It's pretty bloody good. He is hilariously sending in the last few hundred men he's got. So, uh, I mean, you're welcome to try. That's probably not enough to actually, you know, do a siege. But uh, feel free to give it a go. And he's also just lost a Bavarian Catholic uprising. And, oh my, did he just... Oh, he's lost Bavaria. Oh, it's falling apart. The Holy Roman Empire is collapsing. No sign of the Byzantines, but just keep your eye out because bloody hell, I am just losing counsellors like flies right now. Dear oh flippin' dear. Right, who's up next? Aha! Count Alf Johnson, who is actually pretty bloody good, sure. Right, finish this siege, then go and murder the hell out of all of those bastards. So in just a handful of days, that'll be done. You meanwhile are going to take, yeah, like five months because you are nowhere near as good as me. Right, 47%. Let's just go and clear these guys out. He'll probably try and flee, but he won't be able to escape because I'm just too fast. And uh, there we go. Another learning lifestyle perk here. Wash your hands. So, uh, yeah, don't get ill. That is going to be, uh, that's going to be ideal. Uh, stress gain minus 20% or embrace celibacy. I'm fine with just washing my hands. That's okay. I wouldn't mind one more because Iron Constitution means, yes, the chance of just getting cancer is... Uh, much reduced he's trying to flee. He's trying to flee, but I don't think he can get on the water in time. Can he get on the water in time? I don't think he... Oh, he managed to get over here. I mean, well done. Get after him. Come on. 
Come on, chase him down. Oh, he's got so few men, but he's... Oh, he's cornered now. Oh, looks to me like you've got nowhere to go, my friend. All right, I will fight you on the cocky beach. And you, you're in trouble. And... Uh, okay, my spy master is... Somebody wants to kill this guy. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it too much if he wants to. That's fine. I was just going to kill him next week. I mean, okay, I've got a good solution to this problem. So, um, if that guy is about to be, you know, killed... Oh, Flip, we've got a duke and everything. Okay, 100 gold if I want that. That's going to be useful. Right, hold him in case we run out of money or something. Um, this guy's like... He's pretty much a nobody. To be honest, he's worth 10. Right, if someone plans to kill him... Uh, I'm just gonna, like, you know, save you the, save you the trouble. Right, so we've burnt him at the stake, job done. Now, head up north, take the last bit of territory, and then the ticking clock is on our side. Though actually we could do is speeding this one up, we're actually, uh, we're out of supplies, we're starving to death, so... Okay, as soon as we've actually got ourselves a breach, I'm going in, then I need to nip back into my own territory just to, uh, yeah, get the supplies back in order, because this war is, uh, taking a while. Yeah, begin the assault. So just wrap that up in a handful of days uh, right over there. Good. Well done. Now, time to get back into uh, friendly territory. Got some money right there. Are my supplies now ticking up at this exact moment in time? No, I think I need to be in like proper friendly territory, not just uh, allied territory or same liege territory. So, uh, okay, 60% and rising. But yeah, we need to actually uh, restock up supplies. Okay, supplies should now start going up. There we go. Supplies ticking up nicely. I have gained a favour hook on Tord because, uh, ah, apparently I've just got a very good spouse who's doing an excellent job there. Honestly, I kind of just, kind of just brought him in to help me manage Iceland, but okay, he's doing a good job. Now, unfortunately, the Emperor has managed to get like 4,000 troops back together, but I can also heal up my army during the course of, you know, this war. Because I'm now back in super friendly territory. So, just need to get my troops back up to strength. That's all absolutely lovely. Yeah, just let them recover. We did lose a fair whack already. I'm pretty confident we can win this one, even with his new and improved army. Oh, flip me, they actually showed up. The Byzantines are actually here. Constantinople has come to Sweden. All right, lads, I've got a plan, all right? We've got a flipping duke in prison. I don't think he's actually contributing anything. No, he's not contributing anything to the war score. So, uh, all right, you, my friend, we don't have a physician right now. Okay, we should have one of those because I'm 73 years old. As I was saying, we've got ourselves a duke who we can sell. We have got ourselves multiple flipping counts. So we're going to let all of them go for, yeah, a total of 210 gold. All right, this is all fine because 210 gold lets me buy some mercenaries. So just let all that money come in. They're pulling it all together. That's fine. I am very confident that we can handle this. All right, it's going to be okay. They've all accepted the ransom. That's good. So now I'm up to 300 gold and gaining. So, uh, all right. Is anyone like, you know, better than anybody else? You provide me with slightly more troops, but it barely even matters. But, ooh, I will say you're providing me with uh, Huskals. Now that's, that's the sexy stuff right there. Okay. And that's a three-year contract as well. I mean, I feel like they're going to do good work. Hire them. Let's make this happen, okay? What are you guys doing down over? Get north right now. Now, how are my troops doing, by the way? We've got... Okay, we've still got no supplies. Because we keep being undersupplied. And that's going to hurt my advantage. Because, oh, bloody hell, the army's too big. Right, okay. Uh, I think we just need to move in and destroy them. Which I'm pretty confident we can do. Because... They're taking a bloody age to actually take the place. They're splitting up their forces because uh, they're feeling pretty confident right now. The Emperor himself is just sort of uh, not here. Screw it. We're going to have to go and do this without supplies, I suppose. Bring everybody together right over here. Okay, bring them together in Kinder and then we're sending them in. I'm pretty confident we can win this. 
You know how history is going to record this? History is going to say that this is the war when Ilva the Brave defeated two emperors in a single showdown, alright? That's what's happened here. We've got the money. We're not losing money. We're fine. Bring it all together. We've got reinforcements coming in. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Pull the armies together into one mega force, please. Yep, just a straight up merge. Ilva, get in and destroy them. That should be an easy, easy victory for you. All right, this is going to be absolutely fine because we're going to be the defenders and owner is, owner is not slightly in debt. Wait, when you say owner, I'm guessing you mean these guys, right? Okay, they're going to try and bring everything together. I've got another 2,500 men coming in. This is going to be fun. Yeah, they're going to try and regroup. They're going to try and regroup here. I don't think it's going to matter because massive advantage to me and reinforcements coming in. They're sending in another 5,000. I think it's going to be too late. They've already been defeated. It doesn't matter anymore. We've actually wounded... We've wounded Despot Michael. Hang on, I'm pretty sure he was... Did we just tear off? I think we've just killed a king. We've definitely just killed a king there. A king is dead, and I'm pretty sure the king of Bulgaria is wounded as well. We are just chopping them. The flip down. They're all trying to get involved, but it doesn't matter anymore. Is he actually leading this fight? He is actually. Oh, flip. We can actually have the emperor. Have we actually... Who have we captured? We've got the cocky king of Bulgaria in our prison. Oh, this is... This is marvellously good news. Sorry, I think we need a few more details about the Battle of Finvedon when Ilva the Brave defeated the bloody Byzantine Emperor, killing 2,500 of his troops. Not a single one of my champions went down, but they killed 800 people. Light footmen torn to flipping shreds. And during the pursuit, oh, we just rode them the flip down. Okay, so... Both of the emperors are now here. Is that actually the emperor himself? Please tell me that's the emperor himself. I don't know if it is. That is... Uh, no, he hasn't come himself. What a coward. Uh, okay, but we're at 80% right now. And uh, I'm pretty confident we can just kill this guy. Just just get him over there. All right, just, just get him. All right, he's trapped. We're going to get on him right now. We're going to destroy him again. Today is the day of the double imperial destruction. Our champion was just wounded by a duke. That's very, very sad indeed. Our champion, meanwhile, just ripped another head off. So many heads being ripped off right now. Thomas has wounded by an enemy. Oh dear, this is, uh, this is marvellous. 88%. By the way, got another duke to add to my pile. Get after them. Do not let them escape. We're going to murder the flip out of them. I want an emperor, all right? I want to capture or kill an emperor. So if they want to come back this way, they are welcome to flipping try. All right, just double check that none of this is now tied to... Uh, no, it's still not tied to prisoners, which means I can comfortably and safely release these... What happened to the king of Bulgaria? Does anyone know what happened to the king of Bulgaria? Because we totally had him. Oh, I think he died in our prison. That's a shame. I should have actually, uh, you know, released him as uh, one of us. That would have been, uh, that would have been very, very nice indeed. Which, uh, now I'm feeling very comfortable with the war is, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to start doing. So, uh, this duke who controls a good bit of land, uh, you, my friend, can just... Why can't I demand? Oh, I can't demand a landed ruler who's not your vassal. Boo. Boo, I say. So, uh... I mean, if we can't convert you, then what's the bloody point? I mean, I guess I'll take 100 gold for you then. But boo! Boo, I say. And we've promoted culture. Well done. Keep your eye on the important stuff here. Yeah, we're going. They're trying to flee overseas. They're actually trying to get on the boat. I think they're flipping going. You absolute cowards. Right, in which case, let's go get these guys. 90... Oh! It doesn't matter anymore, because it looks to me like you're willing to flipping accept one. Well, maybe, maybe I'm not willing to do that. Maybe I want to come and kick your ass some more, but... Okay, this is it. I mean, surely, I think this is the fourth time I've said this now, but this must be Ilva's most glorious victory. She just kicked the ass of the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empires on the same day. So, yeah, actually, I think uh, I'll be taking the contested title, and I'll be taking all of the realm, I'll be taking some fame, I'll be taking everything, actually. So, 
I will be very happily accepting your surrender now. You can just go the flip home, fake Romans. And kaboom. Our land grows once more and I'm back to overextension. Okay, does anybody want like all of this? Because I've now got too many titles. Again. Thomas Bratt, my friend, you just did a wonderful, wonderful job tearing some heads off there. I definitely saw you tear at least one head off. I think you might have actually killed, like, the king of somewhere. I think that might have been you. So I tell you what, you're getting just all of this. Congratulations. Also, apparently I was briefly married to Thomas. I'd forgotten about that. I do kind of, you know, get through the husbands a bit on the fast side. And one more look at the battle there. So yeah, we lost 400 to the loss of their 2,000. So, okay. Basically, my army may say two stars, but uh, it ain't two stars. All right. It most definitely is not. Okay. What I think I need to do here, because once again I'm overextended, is uh, as Tord is going to then again... Hang on. If I give him Iceland now, does that mean that might mess up the succession? Quite a lot. So you might still think he's owed half of what I have. Uh, even so. Um. Okay. We need to hand over something that's Outlandian to the king. Again. Because I've got no kingdom title that I can actually claim or create. Because the king of Sweden is squatting on Norway and Sweden. And I don't really want to attack him. Because, you know, he's my friend. Okay, I'll hand over these two counties up here, because they're not anything particularly interesting, and the people involved are not particularly interesting either, so we don't really need them for anything. And that's just enough to get rid of overextension, so I've got literally as much as I'm allowed to have. So, the Holy Roman Empire is looking, yes, vulnerable, and I would say uh, Hungary has recovered nicely. The wolves may yet be at the door, though the Byzantine Empire also just ate... They just ate a big bit of land up there, somehow, so they might be, uh, they might be trouble yet, but to be honest, Poland, uh, Hungary, France, England, uh, they could all go to war and win right now. That's pretty exciting. And the economy, by the way, is just flipping exploding right now, so uh, we can very much afford uh, to, you know, continue shoving more and more upgrades into Upland, uh, just to make this place better and better and better, because seriously, it produces 1,500 levies uh, by itself, and uh, yeah, with the economy looking this strong, uh, we're almost certainly safe to uh, keep nudging up the number of our troops, so I'm going to say uh, another unit of siege equipment, and uh, finally, another unit of horses. I think we can afford it. Just look at the state of our knights, though. Thomas, you absolute magnificent, gallant, berserker, unyielding bastards. I think this time, though, it might actually be it, because uh, my health is now poor. I am now officially ailing. This is, uh, yeah, I think now... Uh, Having won bloody hell, how many wars did you win in a row just now? I think the time might finally be uh, almost upon us. And we've got one hell of an army now, but uh, plenty of those levies are just going to uh, evaporate once Ilva's not there to maintain them. I mean, I say this, by the way, um, Holy Roman Empire's not completely dead yet. They've still got, uh, you know, a decent level of strength available to them. Mainly just trash levies, but... Uh, yeah, Elvis not always going to be around to uh, to deal with them next time they come to call. But then again, who knows? Ilva has just hit her 77th bloody birthday, which starts to make me wonder if Death himself is scared of her. Though, uh, yeah, old age now isn't just yet. Yeah, it's not a one-off uh, flat figure. It gets worse over time. She's now suffering minus 21 uh, to her prowess, though... Uh, I will say, it is remarkable, at the age of 77, she's still got prowess 9. I am fielding knights who are worse than that. That's Valdemar's disappointing son, right there. He is only a 6, weaker than Ilva at the age of 77. Valdemar would be ashamed of you, son. And meanwhile, more and more trouble here. In fact, somehow Scotland, which has changed its name to Alba, um, has taken over more of the... Holy Roman Empire, so... Okay, you know what? I suspect there might be interesting times ahead, and uh, 
something tells me, just something at the back of my mind tells me that, uh, Ilva's story might not be quite done yet. So, join me next time, ladies and gentlemen, when we figure out whether Ilva physically can die or not, and, uh, if she can't, then, uh, what do we do next? Precisely, because uh, Sweden has grown mighty, but sooner or later, yeah, I think we're gonna have to, uh, take control of it in, uh, some capacity or another, though, uh, that's not to say we're on easy street just yet. The Holy Roman Empire can get its troops back in order very, very fast indeed, and plenty of other kingdoms are just as strong as us, so, uh, we'll have to see what we're gonna do, because, uh, the problem is, uh, I suspect I'm drawing, you know, more and more attention from the Pope. And sooner or later, he might decide to, you know, do a crusade. And that might be a... There's already been a crusade, hasn't there? Yeah, he already did a crusade. The game just didn't tell me about it. Right, well, I guess it didn't really involve me, so fair enough. Okay, so they've already gone and taken Jerusalem. That's fine, fair enough, I suppose. Which does rather mean that, yeah, potentially the next, uh, the next big target could be, uh, me. So, we'll have to see if that terrifying scenario comes to pass very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then in come the chariots! Yeah.